Hello and welcome to Low Budget TCG Buzz. My name is Jacob and today we've got a very different setup because I am recording from home. Uh, we're going to do a trip in the next couple days to the studio to record a big bunch of stuff for you guys, but that fell through. Uh, so I'm going to be recording the next couple videos from home because I still wanted to get you guys some good content, uh, but I'm sorry if it's not quite up to our normal standards. You would not believe how much I've had to mess around with this setup to try and get this lighting look nice. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. And this will be the same setup for the next three or four-ish videos. So hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, if it is, I'm sorry. So what we're doing today is kind of interesting. I have these. Uh, I found these through a tweet. Uh, they're from Big End Collectibles. We've bought from them before and done a video on one of their mystery products, and that went interesting. But these are new ones they're doing. They're, as you can see, $5 clearance grab bags. And uh, on their website, where they had the listing for this, they mentioned there could be a ton of different things in there, uh, including Buddy Fight, which would be totally awesome if there is Buddy Fight stuff in one of these. I bought five of them uh, purely for this video because I thought you guys might find it interesting. Uh, that being said, if you want to help support us so we can buy more stupid stuff like this, uh, we do have our TCG Player affiliate link in the description below. So if you buy anything from TCG Player and use our link, we get a cut of the profits. And uh, we also have our Patreon, uh, which is where this video came out first. It was early access for our Patreon subscribers. Uh, so if you're interested in that, link's in the description. But let's get into it. We have five five dollar grab bags here. Uh, some of them are pretty big, the others are quite small. Uh, so I know they're not the same thing in each. We're going to do all five in this video. I thought about maybe breaking them up, but I thought it would be fun to just go through them. Which means if we get packs in here, we're not going to spend too much time on them. Okay. That's an interesting start. Uh, we have a Japanese pack of, oh, of Card 5 Vanguard. Oh, we've got... This is the Nova Grappler only set, isn't it? Oh, what is this? Um, we have Y Schwartz, uh, Idol Master, I think. Let me see. Off. I'm gonna have to pull that off because the clip. Yes, it's Idol Master. So is this like a starter deck? We'll open it. Uh, and then we got a nice little promo card. Let's open all the packs and stuff real quick. We'll do them one at a time. I thought about ripping everything. I did not bring any sharp object. Oh, Jacob, you fool. All right, all right. Um. Oh, there is a... This is not what you guys came here for. Let's look at some Y-Shirts cards. I'm going to pull them off camera and get them open. I'm going to grab something that'll work. I am a professional. Don't worry about it. All right. I got it started. So we've got this Y-Shirts deck. I'm assuming it's just like a trial deck. One holographic card at the front. I don't know if it's, uh, I, I, I don't play Y Shorts, guys. I'm going to be perfectly honest to you. Uh, I will say, most of this art's really boring. Uh, I've also never watched Idol Master, and I don't play Y Shorts, so I'm clearly the best person to commentate over these cards. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this is absolutely worth nothing whatsoever, but it's, it's neat. I'll give these to someone who likes Idol Master. Uh, and then, uh, cool little promo card, or box stop, or whatever it is. I'm not going to do, like, research on this stuff or anything like that, or I'm just going to rip. And we're going to take a look at what we get. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Perfect razor. Cool foiling, triple rare. Uh, or is that a double? No, triple. That's cool. Triple Rare first pack. I'm sure it's not worth anything, but I like it. It's a cool foiling. Uh, let's see if we can get anything else in these packs. I know I haven't seen this set in quite a while, but uh, I remember it because it was extremely cheap. 
Uh, that's just a normal rare, but look at that foiling. That's crazy. It's just like one solid line throughout. You can sometimes get multiple lines in it, but th I like that foiling. That's one thing I really love about Vanguard is they experiment a lot with the rare foiling, and you get some pretty cool looking cards out of it. Oh, some oh there. Some of these cards are are wonderful. There's another rare, and you're uh tip card on the back or advertisement or aka stop printing these you're making my packs more expensive for something that's going straight in the trash and we have a double rare that's cool i don't play nova grapplers and i certainly don't play with these cards these are old but uh they're cool uh was that pack worth my five bucks that's tough uh i don't know you guys should leave your thoughts on whether or not you would have bought them on each of the five packs. That would be fun. Fun little mini. I knocked the camera. There we go. Fixed. Lessons learned. Always bring a box cutter or at least a sharp knife or something. Okay. More Vanguard. Is it all going to be Vanguard? Are we turning into a Vanguard again? We got some dice. Uh, these are Pokemon dice. That's cool. I like dice. I will never say no to dice. Uh, so we've got some token Ranbu packs and a Force of Will try starter deck, whatever they call them. And this one is much easier to open. So let's go through those Force of Will cards. Uh, I also don't play Force of Will, uh, but I do really like Force of Will cards. You get some absolutely cool looking artwork. But like I said, I don't play Force of Will. Um, Cards are pretty, though. I don't know how old this deck is, but I'm assuming pretty old. Uh, but it's cool. Let's check out these token Rambu packs. So, so far we've had two that were just a trial deck for something and a couple Vanguard packs. Uh, we got a rare and a double rare. Very fun. Who doesn't like Sword Boys? This is the original pack, because I know they got the second one, but I'm... Yeah, this is the original token Rambu set. Uh, does anyone still like token Rambu cards? Um, another double rare. I don't know if this is a set where double rares are guaranteed. I think it's just like two rares and one of them's replaced if you get higher. Uh, yeah, another double rare. That's a perfect card. Cool, cool. Uh, I don't know. We got a lot of packs in this one. And it's not my favorite thing ever to open, but like for five bucks total... Uh, that was pretty fun. We got three more. Uh, this is the, this one's slightly bigger than the other ones. It definitely feels like there's some packs or, like, other cellophane up in here. It feels different than the other two. Let's see. Why didn't I bring a sharp object? No! Oh, what's that? Is that sleeves? That's sleeves. We got some Cardfight Vanguard sleeves. Oh, boy. That's cool. Um, I don't... I mean, I'll put some cards in them. I'll find use. Uh, and then we got some old Force of Will packs and some Y Schwartz packs. Live in the dream, guys. Uh, these ones I know are not worth much. Like, I've seen them at my local game store in a... B literal bucket for a dollar each. Hey, it's the cover card. That's cool. And we got that. That's cool looking. Uh, like I said, we're just rapid firing through everything. I don't want this to be like a six hour video. We're opening mystery things, you know. Um, that being said, if any of these products intrigue you and you want us to open more of that particular card game, just let us know. We're nothing if not crowd pleasers, you know. Uh... Yeah, oh. Two uh, holographic cards in one pack. Maybe these are good. I don't know. I don't play Y Schwartz. Uh, that one looks cool, though. I like the border on it. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see the last pack from this one. And it's got... Oh, another two. So maybe you get two foils in every pack. It's cool. I like them. I mean, I don't like them. I, I, I'm i not a Y-Shorts guy, but I still like shiny things. 
I like the shiny cardboard. It makes me happy. Uh, here's the next one. This one's bigger. It's the second biggest. It's got a nice little stain on the... That's kind of gross. Come on, guys. Um, but yeah, I like how these aren't all just, you know, the same thing over and over again. There is some legit variety here, which is what I like. Like, I'm paying five bucks. I don't need to make them up. Oh, that was not what I expected. We have a fidget spinner. Guys. Wait, 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 wait. I need to uh, get the other stuff out. Uh, we got some van... They're all Vanguard packs. All... Vanguard. I think I said Japanese earlier, and then I just realized I'm really stupid. They just use the Japanese logos on the English packs. <laughs> this would be the Japanese Vanguard logo if they're Japanese packs. I'm dumb, and it's like midnight right now, and I haven't slept much, so cut me some slack. Uh, so here's our thumbnail. Perfect. Look at that sick fidget spinner action, guys. Great. Uh, so that made it worth it on its own. And we got uh, quite a variety of Vanguard packs here. Uh, garbage. No, he's cool. I like him. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've opened a box of this one on the channel before. I, I definitely have opened some budget Vanguard stuff. Mostly Japanese, though. Uh, because you can get Japanese boxes for so cheap. Hey, advertisement for Buddy Fight. Rest in peace. Um... And then we also got our boy, Brutal Jack. I mean, Genocide Jack. I love that card. Great card. Uh, okay. And if any of you are experts on... Oh, we... Hold on. Yeah, those are totally different foilings. But we pulled the same card. That's fun. If you guys are experts on one of the products that we're opening, feel free to... Uh, Add some context in the comments down below or on our Discord server. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's still weird seeing Bermuda Triangle cards in normal packs. But that's because they were being introduced and it was like, cool. Uh, last one. It's the biggest one of the lot. Uh, hopefully bigger means better and we get some cool stuff. Nobody fights so far. And that it's, it's a playmat. It's a playmat. It's a folded over force of will playmat. Buddy fight! It's buddy fight! Oh my god, I'm so happy now. Uh, we got a force of will playmat. I've never owned a force of will playmat in my life. And that one looks very cool. So we're gonna slap that down. Uh, very nice feeling playmat too. It's large. It's not a, it doesn't have the nice like braiding on the edge that this one does, but. Uh, for five bucks, I'll take any nice playmat and packs of Buddy Fight. Yes, please. Buddy Fight 100 Miracle Impact. I would laugh if we get a secret flag out of this. Uh, I've pulled one once before on the channel in another low bu budget video from years ago. I'll include a card. Absolutely garbage pack. Nothing in there. Oh, uh, we got, what is this? More Miracle Impact. Uh, very good set for the time. Very fun set. I liked it a lot. Uh, rest in peace, buddy fight. Uh, again, nothing. Uh, last pack of Miracle Impact. Where's our secret flag, boys? Uh, let's see. Nope. We got a double rare for Construct. That card's fun. Also, uh, shout out to Roxas there. Yep. That's right. You thought I wasn't going to call it out, but I called it out. Uh, two more packs. Let's see. Uh, good set. Not good pulls. Uh, I like Buddy Rave a lot, but also there's some very weird things they did with the set. But it's got some killer reprints in it. Oh. Whoa! It's Ozzy Haka. I honestly have to pull this off to the side to check if this is the triple rare or the buddy rare. Because it's next to impossible to tell with the naked eye. That is the triple rare version. Uh, but that looks very cool. I miss opening Buddy Fight. I want to do more Buddy Fight openings. Uh, yeah. Holy cow, we're done. Uh, okay, guys, let me know, please, which of the five was your favorite? Were you a big fan of the Buddy Fight? Were you a big fan of 
the Y Schwartz cards or were you just happy to see me get a fidget spinner? Uh, what is this, a DC fidget spinner? I barely even commented on that. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know, all, all that garbage. Um, uh, goodbye. Whee!